Praise the Lord. Good morning. My voice is coming back and back and back. Still not 100%. But I'm 100% sure of this, that I'm, I'm thankful and grateful. Words. W-O-R-D-S. Hmm. D. Words. The same letter in words. Matter of fact, if you take the S off the end of words and put the S in front of the W, it becomes sword. Again, W-O-R-D-S. Take the S, move it to in front of the W in word, and it becomes sword. A sword can be a is a defensive and offensive weapon. A sword chops, stabs, decapitates, and now at least injures thrust through uh, the Bible says in James 3 and 10 out of the same mouth proceed both blessing and cursing my brethren this not all this not also to be it shouldn't be this way and it says my brethren kingdom if it's not a kingdom it's a dumb king you know and 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 this is trite but true there's no such thing as a queendom but queens have rule and do rule but you can't be a queen without a king or, or previously uh, had a king. So we can't self-label ourselves royalty. And our mouth and heart and mind is just all over the place or out of whack or out of calibration. As I leave this alone. Words build up. Words tear down. But being that I've been blessed by our father to counsel, I had someone uh, accuse me of being a closet homosexual because I used the word partner I use the word partner see when I'm blessed to counsel about of the most high God I cover heterosexual uh, people with uh, alternative lifestyles people whose lifestyle or sexual orientation may not be like yours or mine so it would be unfair uh, to counsel and try to omit a certain demographic but I no longer talk to that person anymore it wasn't an insult and it wasn't an accusation the fact that I use the word partner does not denote my sexuality, but it denotes my fairness. So you can't counsel or have messages for heterosexual people and not have uh, a counsel of people uh, of, of an alternative lifestyle, different sexual orientation, gay. And, I, and, I, and I'm not homophobic, never have been, like 7-Up, never will be. So this is just something I thought I would throw in there. Words build up, tear down. Words, rather good or bad, you cannot take it back. Regardless of the seeds you plant or I, we are responsible for the harvest. Yeah, that's your mouth. This is my mouth. Can't nobody tell me what to do. That's why you're by yourself. That's why you uh, uh, have had record number of divorces. That's why people use you. That's why no one don't want to talk to you, hold your hand, or be around you. And you think it's just your ex-husband or ex-wife. They don't want you. A lot of people don't want other people, not because of, of, of choice, but because they've seen you in action. They know your heart, your mind, that lifestyle. This is not a, a, a guess. This is not gossip. And, and, you know, this is a guarantee. A lot of people are by themselves because of their mouth, their actions, behavior, their conduct, their speech. In addition to day and age, people email you, text you, tweet you, LinkedIn you, Facebook you, fake book you, as I leave this beat, and you wonder why that man or that woman no longer wants to be with you. Your mouth. Not that you talk too much, but the garbage, the insanity, the insults, the insinuations, the assassinations that come out of so many, and I'm certain of this, people's mouths. And you wonder why you divorced you wonder why you are depressed. You wonder why you demise. You wonder why you are alone. Sometimes it's at the behest. It's at the handling of our own self. A lot of us have destroyed our reputations, our own character, and our feasibility and ability and desire for someone else to be with us because of our mouth. I, I, trust me as I leave this alone. When you are dealing with, married to, engaged to, dating, going with, Whatever the case may be, someone with a horrible mouth. The mouth is so horrible. Watch this. 32 calcium fortified teeth. Tongue stapled to the 
or, 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 or bottom of the mouth and two lips wrapped around 32 fortified teeth. That's how horrible and how powerful and how deep the mouth is. As I leave this alone. Once you say you can't take it back, I had somebody tell me, yes, you can. I said, how they go? I just say, I'll take it back. I'm like, wow. So you say some horrible and you try to, you, you, you taking it back. No, you have to bite your tongue. You can't hold it because it's so slippery. It's like a a, 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 a a leather snake. It's slippery, like a wet, greasy leather snake. You have to bite your tongue. That's why it hurts when you bite it because it's so alive. Out of the same mouth proceeded both blessing and cursing. My brethren, this ought not so to be. How can you cuss your wife out? You can go to work and be nice. How you cuss your husband out, then go to work or out in society and be nice? How you cuss your significant other out, call him or her any and everything? <laughs> and I, yeah, you're going to kiss your baby. You're going to kiss your children. Kiss someone else with that mouth. That's how I leave this alone. The same letters and words you find in sword. Once you say it, you can't take it back. Once you tear that person down, you cannot injure the same, you, excuse me, you cannot heal the same heart you've injured. You can't shoot the person and operate on them. But you're going to throw them down the stairs and then help them up. So that's why I don't deal with a lot of people who've injured or hurt me. No grudge. It's called wisdom. If you can cuss your mama out, your daddy out, say anything to anyone, and stand talking about the Lord, know your heart. Yes, you do. Stop trying to trick him. You are a liar. He knows your heart. Talk about the Lord, know my heart. Because you know the Lord, know you did something wrong or said something wrong. So your excuse is, your consolation is, the Lord, know my heart. Yes, you do. And you need a, a spiritual myocardial infarction. You need an attack of the heart. Not a physical one, but a supernatural heart attack to change your mind as I leave this alone. So, no, I don't deal with people that, that call me everything, text me everything. I'll never deal with you again. I got to guard this and this because I need this and this for me, my son, the stranger, the my family member, the person I come in contact with that needs help. You need your own mind and heart for yourself. Don't keep dealing with, and I'm serious, don't deal with someone who's tried to kill you, verbally assassinate you, label, libel, slander. You're not holding a grudge. You're about to hold court, and you're about to come out with the right verdict. Yes, I forgive you, but bye-bye, bye-bye. Mwah, mwah, I love you. Do well. Do well. Arriba Dirty. I'll be the same. Bruce God. Uh, Dios Temin Deagle. God bless you. <laughs> Kuna Hafiz. Send them off. Don't let them send you off or cause you to change the way you are. The same letters and words you find in Sword. You can't take it back. You better think about it before you say it. I've fired a lot of people out of my life. This is my life, my life, my life. It's members only. If you think you're going to talk to me any kind of way, you're about to find somebody that look like me, have the same name as me. I'm about taking it, y'all. And don't you take it. Calling people awful, horrible names, texting, emailing, leaving voicemail messages, whatever, however you do it. It is time is out for that. Out of the same mouth, not the same armpit, the same uh, toe, the same elbow. Out of the same mouth proceeded both blessing and cursing. My brethren, he's talking to the man, the head of household, the head, the kingdom. If it's not a kingdom, it's a dumb king. Out of the same mouth proceeded both blessing and cursing. My brothers, it shouldn't be this way. My sisters. It shouldn't be this way. The same letters and words you find in sword. Words build up. Words tear down. Words call divorce, demise, depression, deception. And you can't take it back. Peace.